Hey guys, this is your host Abhinav back with another video and today I am going to tell you the various features the Google keyboard has and this keyboard is also called as Gboard. There might be some features which you are already aware of or there might be many but I am sure at the end of this video you will come to know many features or at least some features which you will use in your day to day usage. So guys before starting this video I would like to show you an easy way of opening the keyboard settings from the keyboard itself rather than opening the application. Just tap and hold the comma key and it will open up three options out of which you have to select the settings option and now you need to select the keyboard settings. The first feature is that we can add number row at the top of the keyboard. This will make your keyboard a bit taller but it is worth it if you deal with lot of numbers or mention them in the text you send. If you are someone who uses WhatsApp a lot and uses emojis in your text, then I think it is better to have a dedicated key for it. This can be done by going to the preference options in the settings and selecting the show emoji key. But there is a compromise here. You can either have the language change key or the emoji key. Since I have mentioned about this language change key, let me tell you that you can switch between languages while typing just by tapping on this language change icon. You can add as many languages you need and for adding any new language, all you need to do is go to settings and select the first option which is language and then tap on add keyboard and select the language for which you need a keyboard. Another feature for emoji lovers, you can see the recently used emojis in the suggestion strip instead of the word suggestions. The Gboard supports 5 different height ranging from short to tall. Not sure if this is something you already know but it is a very good feature. The sixth one in this list is that you can use slide typing. This option is enabled by default and is very accurate. So you can use the slide typing feature if you want to save your energy which is used in typing on your phone's keyboard. There is also an option to disable it. The common way of deleting a word is by tapping on the delete button. But what if I tell you there is another way to delete a continuous text. Just tap on the delete button and slide left. This will select the text you want to delete. And once you are done with the selection release the delete key. The only limitation I see here is that we cannot delete in between words. It happens many times with me that I am not able to move the cursor to the exact location. But Google keyboard provides an easy way to do so. Now you can move the cursor by sliding across the space key. If you want to move the cursor left, slide left and if you want the cursor to be moved right, slide from left to right. I literally love this feature. The G button you are seeing at the top left of your keyboard has a capability of doing many things you might not be aware of. So the ninth feature of this video is that you can send stickers. By default you will be seeing a few of them and if you want to select from more then you need to tap on the plus button at the bottom right and download the Bitmoji and the stickers application. Again a feature for emoji lovers. If you want to search for an emoji, tap on the G button and select the first option. And now tap on the smiley icon and this will take you to a new window within the keyboard itself where you can search for emojis. In some cases you might not see the expected results. You can also search for GIF within the keyboard itself. You don't have to search online for a new Giphy or switch between application. Just tap on the G button and select the GIF option. And here as well you can see the search window and lots of suggestions at the bottom along with the recently used options. Google Translate is now included in the Google Keyboard and now you can translate any language from the Gboard. And for this as well, you need to tap on the G button and select the third option. Select the input and the output language and enter or paste the text you wish to translate. 
In case you don't know what the input language is, it will be automatically detected. You can also change the color of your keyboard, open settings and select themes. Now choose the color you want your keyboard to have. You can also have some beautiful landscape instead of choosing plain colors and if you want you can add your own custom wallpaper by tapping on my themes. You can also enable one handed mode which can be moved either to left or right and you can also make it smaller if you are not comfortable with the default size. If you want to edit a lot of text where you are dealing with moving the cursor, doing a lot of text selection to do cut or copy, you can select the text editing option and you will be seeing this window. So guys there are a lot of features associated with this G button and if by any chance this G button doesn't look good to you then go to settings and select the search option and deselect the search and more button. Once you do this you will be seeing this arrow instead of the button. Frankly speaking this arrow looked good to me than the button itself. Wouldn't consider this as a feature but just letting you know. You can also add shortcut of any particular word or a sentence which you use frequently. For example, instead of typing where are you, you can just type wru. Let me show you how it is done. Select the personal dictionary option and tap on the plus button at the top right. You will be seeing this window and type in your shortcut. Easy right? Once you are done, don't forget to sync this shortcut to your account so that when you format your device, you won't be losing them. So guys, that's it for this video and in case if you feel that I have missed any feature, it would be great if you can mention them in the comment section. And if you haven't liked this video yet, please do and stay connected by subscribing. Thanks for your support and have a great day. Thanks for watching and see you in my next video.